Yeah. Does he provide? No, I mean, it's, I've said this a couple of weeks yeah. ago, you know, it's nice to get players back, especially yeah. the, with the amount of injuries we started the season. Yeah. Not what we wanted and not ideal, um, but you know, we're slowly starting to get players back, which obviously helps the group, it helps the team. And, you know, Zhao, experienced player, you know, runs that midfield um, with and without the ball and, and is an important piece, you know, uh, to our squad. So, I mean, it's a boost for everyone. What does his presence, what does it do for you specifically in the transition game and then also in the yeah, maybe I don't have to run as much back, uh, but um, no, it's, uh, you know, he's he's great at winning the ball back, uh, calm on the ball, and he looks for those kind of passes, you know, into the into the spaces where I play, you know, where, where Christian comes and into those soft areas kind of, you know, so he, he's definitely one of the players that will look to play that ball, and that's what we attacking players want, you know, so that's, that's one of many things that he'll bring for the game tomorrow. I think your strategy is as soon as you get that ball in transition, it's supposed to be forward and through three seconds, right? Is, is that what you're saying? You now have to be quicker and ready to... You kind of have to anticipate that moment that he will win the ball or somebody will win the ball. And then, you know, we, we kind of already have to be in that position, you know, because if, you know, we also we always say we want to be proactive and not reactive. So especially for the game tomorrow and the way Vancouver plays, um, you know, winning the ball and playing forward right away is, is one of the things that we'll try and do. What's your perspective on this upcoming stretch where you guys just have uh, 17 games in four weeks? I love it. Less training, more games. Um, ultimately, we want to play, you know, no, not train five times a week. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, games are going to come quick and they're all meaningful games, you know, whether it's the league or, or the Open Cup, you know, Open Cup is, is probably the the easiest way to go into Champions League next year, you know, and especially with the, you know, with what happened for, for this this year's Open Cup, uh, you know, we, we want to go and, and, and win that competition. So, uh, yeah, a lot of games coming up and I think uh, I think it's good. Schmetz uh, mentioned Pedro may have suffered a setback, this injury. What, what, as a veteran guy, like, we were talking about his kind of mental state and where he is. It's a tough go for him just yep. getting here. And how have you guys tried to, or will you guys try to help him through this new kid coming here, foreign country? Yeah, like, yeah. I, th I think we helped him, you know, to to settle down ever since he he joined us in uh, in Marbella. Um, obviously, he was working to come back, and and has been working very hard to come back. You know, this is not something that. Uh, that he wanted or any of us wanted, it's 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 definitely a setback for him, you know, but especially given how young he is, you know, these kind of moments, you know, could define him, you know, and in terms of going forward and maybe in five, six years time when, you know, he'll be healthy and playing for many, many years, he'll look back and, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say enjoy, but kind of learn and, and, you know, I think it'll make him tougher, you know, but it's, it's, it's not what he wanted. And as you said, you know, he's... He's here without his family in a, in a foreign country. You know, I, I know what that's like. I've done it at a young age, um, you know, so we'll be there for him all, you know, all of his teammates and, you know, staff and everybody will be there for him. But um, yeah, we just, you know, we want him to be on the field. Thanks, Thanks Cool. Thank you, guys.